So who remembers the diff case? Way back in 2012, if you are a longtime subscriber of this channel, we did a review of this case and it ties in to what I'm looking at today. It was ahead of its time with this flip up design to keep light off the screen of the iPhone. Ever since then, I've wanted companies to create something like this and finally someone did. Before we look at the new product, it's just amazing to me. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this is the original diff case for the iPhone 4S. I mean, that is just insane how much bigger this phone is. <laughs> I know the new mini that came out is small, but this is a small phone, and yeah, times have changed. Anyway, this is a new product from Moondog Labs, and it is a hood for your iPhone. Got a cool sticker here. Moondog Labs smartphone hood. This is the XL model. You need to be sure to get the right one for the size of phone you have. Ah, more packaging inside packaging. And there it is. As I mentioned at the beginning, for years I have lobbied companies to make one of these. I even considered making one myself using 3D printing. This feels like, feels like leather or pleather and I would say it's a fairly robust feel. It's not, doesn't feel cheap. And then this strap is nice. What I have used in the past and what I've recommended to people is to get ones that are used for drones or even GPS in cars. But this one being dedicated for smartphones is really cool. And so that's the hood part. And then this is kind of a throwback element. This is optional, you don't have to use it, but it's a cloth that goes over the entire screen, more or less, and over your head, where you can put your head underneath this hood, and then you really get complete and utter darkness around the monitor, so you can really tell what you're shooting, exposure, focus, etc. And these are little clips that'll clip it onto the, to the hood. And so again, this is optional, and you'd probably only use this if you're doing something really critical. And by the way, I do something similar to this on larger shoots, even using a production monitor. We'll put a flag, or what's often called a floppy. It's a big piece of cloth right behind a monitor, and that way it reduces the glare. And so this is a similar idea to that, or it's a throwback to very early cameras where the photographer went underneath the hood to keep light from leaking into the actual camera. Shooting in direct sunlight is just one of the biggest problems that you have with a smartphone. I mean, this is the same really though with any traditional camera. Seeing the screen outside in bright sun can be really tricky. And so this hood does a really nice job. One thing I did too is I turned my screen brightness up all the way. That's a tip that I always tell people, even if you don't have a hood, turn your screen brightness up. This hood is nice though because it comes around and it contours to the side of the phone. The buttons are still available to access. You can still hit the keys down here, the volume keys. I did have to slide my tripod over a little bit. And then you can still access the lightning port on this side too. They've got these little bumpers inside here. It's a little bit hard to see to where the actual hood presses up against your phone to hold it in place along with this Velcro on the sides and this is adjustable and so I really like this hood it's not perfect for instance it doesn't completely cover the top up here so there's a little bit of a gap occasionally if you move it too much and especially if you're using a tripod very minor little nitpicky thing there but overall solid piece of kit One little note I wanna point out is my initial inclination was to put the phone, if you can see this here, on top of this little lip here, which they call the backstop. My inclination was to put it on top of it, but in reality, you put it behind it. And that way, when you strap the Velcro, it creates tension and pulls it down. And so that was one little bit of confusion I had when I first tried to put the hood on, but after you figure it out, it goes pretty quickly. Another interesting thing you can do with this is it actually works as like a stand because the sides touch the ground. And so while you probably wouldn't do this very often, it is a nice convenient way to set it down. And if you don't have a tripod with you or any kind of way to hold it and you wanna do a selfie or maybe a time-lapse, 
you can set it on the table or maybe on the hood of a car and that way it holds it up and you can shoot. One thing I figured out is I like using the hood even when I'm shooting handheld. It feels like a loop almost that you might put on a traditional camera. So you can walk around and shoot with this setup and easily see the screen. And if you wanna use the cloth, here is the way I found that it works pretty well. You wanna drape it over. So that way you're covering any light leaks on the back. They include these clips. Just clip these on to hold the cloth on there. And then you would raise it up and put your head underneath there. Doesn't look pretty, but it definitely works. And again, you wouldn't use this very often probably, but it is a nice option to have. Overall, this is a really nice and welcomed accessory that I am happy that Moondog has created. And I will definitely be recommending it to anyone who wants to shoot smartphone video or even photos outside in bright light. Thanks for watching guys, this is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.